Good morning, chicks and chickens. Welcome back to Old Man Farm. My name is Sid as always. I hope you're having a wonderful Tuesday. Uh, if you're watching this the day it came out, and if not, uh, whatever day you happen to be watching this, but if it is a Tuesday, I guess uh, what wonderful mundane magic we found in the passage of time, right? Anyway, it is Marnie's birthday, uh, and I'd like to stop by and see her. If that happens, we should, because... We're not in any big hurry to run any specific place today. I'd like to get over to the volcano uh, and see if we can't do a little bit of cinder shard farming because rather than us running back to the volcano, or rather the skull mine like we did yesterday, uh, which was good. Again, that was a proof of concept, right? We are able to take Abigail with us. So today we're gonna be testing the volcano. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't be able to take her with us, but, uh, I, you know, especially when it comes to mods, uh, it is just best not to assume, right? But that is the goal for the day. Uh, we are, ooh, excuse me. Also, I figure that getting our sword fully upgraded, if we can get our, uh, 13 more cinder shards today, then we can fully upgrade our sword, well, at least fully upgraded as far as uh, we can get right now, to the, what would that be, uh, the third level of ruby. So that's some pretty significant extra attack power. So that'll help us further uh, our, our goals in the skull mine, in, um, you know, in the volcano, uh, insofar as we have to keep going there. Uh, because we will continue to need cinder shards, uh, no matter what's going on. Really, cinder shards are gonna be a kind of a, a staple of our life uh, for a hot minute. Um, again, though, I did want to ask, uh, if you guys are getting sick of seeing so much combat, so much mining, uh, I, I, I would, I would appreciate hearing from you, um, because, again, I've never really been into this part of the game. Mining has never been an aspect of Stardew that I was like, boy, howdy, I can't wait to go do combat. I mean, I do enjoy exploring, um, the mines. I enjoy, uh, that aspect, but it's never been a, a singular draw for me. So, if it is something that, uh, you know, the community has decided, you know what? We're sick of it, Sid. Well, then uh, we can do something else for a little bit. I don't want to make this uh, wholly unenjoyable for everyone, but currently our goals have been, uh, and I suppose it is worth bringing that up, isn't it? Our goal is to fight and uh, destroy the, uh, oh, we didn't, I guess I have to chill for a second. We want to defeat the, uh, the giant, uh, dragon, plus three farming. That's not helpful, but it was worth checking. We want to defeat the giant dragon that is in the Badlands. Uh, he does over half our health in one hit. Um, and of course, me being me, I thought the best way to deal with that would be, hey, why don't we make all of our weapons do just, uh, way more damage, right? Well, there is something to be said about, uh, defense through offense, right? But we might also look into some defensive upgrades. But as of right now, we are looking to get more prismatic shards from the, uh, what do you call that? The skull mines? Skull caverns? Yeah. We're looking for that. We are also, uh, we, we need those prismatic shards to upgrade our sword to the infinity edge, whatever it's called, I think. Um, but to do so, obviously, uh, we need more cinder shards, hence the time spent in the volcano dungeon. Um, so as you can see, it's sort of, it's a, it's a layer cake of things we need to get done. Uh, whoops. Whoops. We also are trying to get Birdie's quest done because that will allow us to get this Junimo preservation done. So it, again, it really is just a layer cake of uh, things we are currently uh, working on, which, suppose there's really no reason we can't take that by today as well uh, and keep that rolling right i believe we are currently uh we have an advanced tv remote and i'm gonna go out on a limb and say that's george okay i i, I feel like that's a safe bet that the advanced remote is going to george whoops 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 there we go okay 
So let's sort out our inventory a little bit because it's it's looking a little nightmarish. Uh, oh, never mind, never mind. Let's make some more cheeses. Okay, it appears that is the end of our cheese issues. Um, we're just gonna sell a few things, sort a few things, and then, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll head on in. We'll go buy Marnie's first. Uh, we will then go buy George's, and then we'll finally, 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 we will head off towards the island. And I know, late start, but given that this is for Cinder Shards, um, they're a lot easier to come by, you know what I mean? It's they're not as difficult as, oh, we need to spend all day there to make sure we can get as many prismatic shards as possible, right? It's a little different game, and as such, I am okay with taking a little extra time. Uh, and with the Volcano Dungeon, I have generally found that it kind of behooves us to do that two days in a row, because we will go, we'll sleep on the farm, uh, the you know, there on the beach, and, uh, um, oh my... Okay, this is getting a little ridiculous. Uh, let me have that. We need to have some kind of way to get through here. There we go, right? That's a little better. Looks like it's about time we do a little, uh, reworking on the farm, isn't it? Also, I do realize that I didn't go and get, um... Where is she? She must be out in the shed. I didn't go and get any hardwood last night because we didn't have our axe, but that's okay. Because we don't need a warp to get back from the, um, from the island. Six more hours. We got going on, Marnie. Hmm, three hours for you. Oh, hello. It's nice to see you, Senor Fantastic. I don't get many visitors to my shed. Yeah, fair enough. It's not exactly a destination. I'm checking my cheese presses. My cows produced a lot of milk yesterday, so there's cheese to be made. Gotta get the smiling Marnie picture. Pardon me. Oh. I ship my animal projects to a number of places. Places. <laughs> Grampleton doesn't have any livestock, so they often put orders in for fresh dairy. Since you're here, how about I teach you how to make a cheese wheel? Okay. That's her that's her claim to fame at the festival. Okay, mind grabbing the two-gallon pot and the ladle behind you, Senor Bitter? Not at all. I see you've got a keg back there, because uh, you like to party when you make cheese. Marnie taught me about cheese wheels. Cheese now sells for a higher price. That's amazing. I love these things where it's like, oh yeah, you you are now more productive because you're friends with uh, the villagers. It's such a wonderful mechanic. Uh, that being said, she's, she's straight up gone. We don't know where Marnie is. Uh, there's Floor, not who we're looking for, although I do love Floor. Seriously, no Marnie? No Marnie anywhere? Is she in the secret, secret door back here? It's locked. Huh. Well, that is odd. Um, I really don't know where she could be. I, I guess we'll hope to see her as we're going through town to catch up with George. Oh, we got another one. Oh, no. It's more Clint being a weirdo. Clint, my dude, just talk to her. Just, you know, pretend she's like a normal human being, maybe? I don't know. Was that so hard? You caught me. Because women love when you follow them around and creep at them while sitting in the bushes, right? I was planning to ask Emily on a date. I was at her doorstep and everything. But then I heard her coming and I dove into this bush. <laughs> now I'm waiting until she's done talking with Carolyn so uh, I can sneak back into my house. What did you just say? You'll never upgrade your tools again if I don't ask her out? Yes. Use the power of capitalism, hold it over him. You're a villain, Senor Gloomy. A villain with your best interest at heart. All right, I'll do it. Go, Clint, go. I gotta remember that advice Senor Green gave me in the saloon. 
I don't remember what I said. <laughs> Just be yourself, I think. Um, Emily? <laughs> he sounds very pained. I probably shouldn't have done it in that voice, right? Sorry, Caroline. Could you excuse me for a minute? Oh, here comes the sad music. God, I hope not. Yes, Clint? Oh, this is a really pretty setting. I was wondering if you'd go w with with me tomorrow. Me. Go tomorrow with me. <laughs> I'm making it worse. <laughs> I've got two tickets for the Grampleton Carnival tomorrow. W would you go with me? Oh, I should get a picture of that. Sure, Clint. That sounds fun. Really? Okay, I'll pick you up at five. Okay, see you tomorrow. See there, Clint. Oh, I'm so proud of our boy here. <laughs> Did you see that? We've got a date tomorrow night. Oh, man, I'm so nervous. <laughs> uh, you know, I, 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 I give him hell because it is funny uh, in a game. But, I, you know, it's... It's, I mean, that's a very real thing. I mean, people have just a very difficult time um, when it comes to trying to ask someone on a date. And I get it. I, again, I, yes, I know, I know it's Pierre's. Um, obviously, like, I put myself on the internet. I'm used to just saying stuff at people, right? Here you go, George. What's this? So you push this button first. What's this button do? Mm. Heh, well, how about that? It's a new channel. Here, take this. It's a stone I found when I was a coal miner back in the day. Funny thing. Glowed blue and stayed cold for over 40 years. Like magic. Arctic shard. Ooh, uh... Ooh, um... Arctic shard. You know what? We might, we might skip the, uh... We might be skipping the volcano dungeon today, actually. Let's let's do some let's do some scavenger hunting. Arctic shark. Hmm. Who might that go to? Is there someone that's like always hot? Shard glows with an otherworldly blue light. Maybe the wizard? Because it's mentioned it's like magic? Let's try. Let's try. Anyway, yes, I know that, uh, you know, I just put myself on the internet and I talk at people, right? And I get on Twitch and I talk at people, you know? But there's there's a level of extrovert it takes to do that kind of crap, right? Um, but there's... It's very different when you think there's um, something on the line, right? And um, thinking that oh no, like my, my, the future of my love life and everything revolves around me not making an ass of myself right now to this person. Oh, she's another event. Uh, one second. Yeah, it, it, we'll get back to that. Now gently pour in the frog eyes. Ugh. Abigail's learning some magic. Send you're lonely. What are you doing here? Uh, Rasmo and I are good friends. Focus. Marlon asked Raz here to teach me to make potions. Kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, this is part of Abigail the Adventurer. But also gross. <laughs> Very gross. This is really, really cool. Potion making is a delicately refined art. Over time, you will find a certain beauty in it. And that's Master Wizard to you, young lady. <laughs> Not Raz. Now sprinkle the fiddlehead stock over the concoction. If you've done everything correctly, it should turn blue. Hey, speaking of. Well, that doesn't look... Oh. Everyone get down! Oh no! Oh my god! Is it over? I think we'll end today's lesson here. Good lord. Right. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, they didn't, uh, that probably didn't go as planned. Anyway, I, before, before we get on with this with Rasmodius, I, 
I totally understand what it's like to kind of freeze up like that when needing to, you know, talk to someone in that regard. I I don't so much uh, now that I'm older, which, I, I mean, obviously I'm in a relationship now, so it's not a problem. Ah, an arctic shard, a most powerful substance indeed, and potently infused with the element of ice. I'll take it if you don't mind. Um, you're still here. Oh, you want something? Take this. You received a wriggling worm. Well, I think that's a no-brainer who that goes to. Willie. But, uh, yeah, I don't so much worry about it anymore, A, because I'm in a relationship, and B, because, uh, I don't know, just as I've gotten older, it... Things... Things like that seem to matter less. Um... It's the kind of thing, I guess, in, in my head, where... Um... I, this is gonna I don't know. I hope this doesn't sound jaded or dismissive, but... I think when it comes to dating, uh, uh, having done a fair amount of it, and having traveled a lot, met a lot of people, um, there is, oh my god, another event? I'm never gonna get to talk about this. Go, Scarlet, show those grapes who's boss. Oh, I'm trying my best. Look who's here. <laughs> look at her look at her sprite with her hands up. That's funny. Hey you. Uh mind lending us a hand? Or I guess I should say feet? The harvest was big, so we have a lot of grapes to squish before the sun goes down. I've still got my boots on. Those are the right color. Whew, feels good to take a break. Thanks, Senor Chalky. Stomp the heck out of those grapes. Jesus. Calm down, dude. Okay. Do you think we'll get to talk about this? Do you, do you think? I don't know. There you go. That's... I didn't mean to do the wood. I wanted to... Oh. Whatever. Anyway. Things like that. That's what I'm talking about. So. Yeah. I... The idea that... The... That the fate of your happiness lies in a single human being, I think, is, um... Ah, that's the perfect bait for a catfish I've been trying to catch. I'm just, I'm just gonna give up. Here, let me trade you this for it. I'm not sure uh, what it is. I'm doing, I'm not even doing Willie's voice. But it washed up on the beach not long ago. Something tells me you could use it, lad. Pirates lock it. There we go. Finally, we can go until we talk to Birdie, and then I'm gonna, gonna be able to talk again. What do you mean? We can't, we can't get to the... That's bull. We should be able to get to the submarine or the boat anytime we want. I don't like that at all. Uh, anyway, whatever. It gives us time. So, woof. Yes, the idea of putting all of your happiness in the idea that one person is going to like you and be compatible with you for the rest of forever and ever, amen, is a lot. And I don't think that it is um, fair to your own psyche or to the person that you're putting this on unbeknown unbeknownst to them. Uh, I would say that what I said to Clint at the saloon that day is truly the best advice and that is to just be yourself. And yeah, sure, oh, that's what everyone tells you. But it's true because, uh, listen, the person's either going to like you or they're not. And if they don't like you, then that would imply to keep them around, you'd have to change who you are. And, I mean, unless what they don't like about you is that you're, like, a murderous, like, psychopath, well, maybe that you could change, right? But if it's just like, boy, I, uh, really love hiking, well, don't hang out with some- like, you don't want to be with someone long term who hates the outdoors, right? That's probably not a great fit. Now, not to say that whoever you're romantically interested in has to have all of the same interests as you. Not at all. But you shouldn't have to change who you are to get someone to like you. Um, just, you know, my personal thoughts. Uh, and again, it, the thing is, you might find someone who you... Um, you are, you're so compatible with and everything's amazing and blah 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 
And in a year, maybe not. In two years, maybe not. You never know. It could change. So I guess what I'm saying is be yourself, especially when trying to uh, find someone to spend time with because those things could always change. That person could change. The situation can change. And you will change. But who you are shouldn't change for someone else. It should change because that's the natural progression of who you are. Uh, but again, what do I know? I'm just an idiot on the internet. And that took forever to say and now seems stupid because it took so long and it got built up to here. But here we are. Anyway, there are a million things we can, we can do here around the farm. Uh, don't I have... Did we make all of our mayo? I would have swore we would have had extra eggs. I guess not. Yes, I know everyone's trying to sleep. Uh, please, please, just get out of the way. Please stop trying to sleep right up against the mayonnaise. Make I need to put fences or something to, like, keep them out. Ah, uh, Jesus. Anyway, I guess wherever they want to sleep is fine by me, right? As long as they're happy. Uh, some more cheeses. You know what? I'm going to hop on Grover, and we're going to head... There we go. We're going to head back up to the shed and get those aging. Okay, I don't know when we're going to head back to the um, Badlands. Uh, I'm thinking maybe after we try our... We get our ruby enhancement, uh, which is only one more. It should only take us one more day in the volcano to get to there. But I think maybe once we do that, uh, it might be worth checking again. Especially if we can take Abigail with us, which I think is going to be... Uh, that's going to be the next step. Trying to take, Ab take Abigail with us to the Badlands. So, when we get there... By that point, we should have a decent amount of Iridium cheese. I don't see what we're working with right now, actually. We have 25 and 8. Yeah, okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, now, I will say, you go through far more of it than you... Well, at least I, because I can't speak for everyone. But I go through a lot more of it than I anticipate. It's very dangerous there. Um, and again, as I had mentioned earlier... We may look into some ways to upgrade our defense. Um, obviously, it was mentioned that uh, we could put the defensive uh, gems into a weapon. Perhaps a hammer or something like that. So, there are, uh, there are options. We can go and make other galaxy weapons. Or, or do, we, do we buy them? I think we might actually buy them, don't we? I'm sure they're very expensive, but at this, at this venture... Uh, I think we have enough money. Shouldn't really big problem. Uh, now we're not going to go over to the secret woods because just through doing a little bit of work here on the farm. Also, do I not have? I don't have my glow ring on me. It's very difficult to do this work without a glow ring. But just through our work here on the farm, we acquired a little bit of hardwood. Uh, do I have anything for in here? No, I guess not. Uh, but that will mean that we should be able to... Let's grab some honey. Uh, do we have anything for here? There we go. Now yeah, we'll grab a little bit of honey. Take this hardwood. And let's make a couple of warps. We'll make as many as we can. And that's three. That's perfect. Alright, we have everything sorted. This was an incredibly long day, so we're gonna go ahead and get to bed. Uh, somehow missed Marnie, right? I, I don't know, we got to talk to her today, we got to have an interaction with her today, which implies that her hearts are probably pretty high, right? Let's see. Yeah, we're almost maxed out, but we could have probably maxed that out. That is upsetting, but it also is what it is. Excuse me, Jeff. I hope you enjoyed that event-filled day. I uh, was not expecting that. It was pretty cool, though. I got to see a lot of people. A lot of events that uh, I've never seen before, which is super-duper dope. And, hey, Clint has a date. Clint and Emily get to finally go out, go to a festival, 
and uh, I hope I hope it goes well for him, right? Fingers crossed. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and get to bed. Uh, be good to each other. I will talk to you tomorrow, and good night.